Hi, my name is Mark Briscoe and I'm a Product Marketing Manager with Tektronix. In this demonstration, I'm going to show how an AFG 31000 arbitrary function generator can be used to demonstrate the high-res acquisition mode on a 6-series MSO. For the demonstration today, I'm using an AFG 31252 arbitrary function generator and an MSO 64 mixed signal oscilloscope. I'm connecting them via a 50 ohm BNC cable coming out of the channel 1 output on the AFG and into the channel 1 output or input of the mixed signal oscilloscope. To speed things up for the demonstration, I'm using a saved sequence file on the AFG. And I'm going to go enable that by first starting the advanced application on the, on the AFG and then opening a saved sequence from the attached USB drive. Now this sequence file is designed to output a, a complex waveform indefinitely over and over again. And I'm going to enable the output of that by pressing the run front panel button. And now we'll, we'll turn our attention to the oscilloscope where I'm actually going to want to look at that waveform. It's not set up exactly the way I want it to, so to speed that process up, I'm going to go ahead and recall a saved setup through the file recall button and then just double tap the waveform setup file that I want. And we can see that we've got a complex waveform here, but it's bouncing around on the display a little bit more than I'd like. And that's because the trigger is set up to trigger on a rising edge at a zero volt level. And it's actually randomly triggering on a bunch of different edges in this trace. So I want this to be a well-behaved signal and kind of stop it on the screen. So I'm going to use a visual trigger to do that. Now I've already defined a visual trigger. I'm just going to go into the trigger menu here in the visual trigger panel and enable that. So you can see once I do that, I've got a visual trigger exclusion area out in front of that burst. So now it's only going to trigger when I get to that, that rising edge of the burst outside of that exclusion area. And I've got a very well-behaved trace on screen now. So if we call your attention to the zoom area down below here, you can see that I'm actually zooming in on an area of the trace just ahead of the burst. And I can see there's signal information there, but the 8-bit acquisition capability of the instrument right now it's not showing me enough content to really understand what's going on here. So to get a better view of that, I'm going to enable the high-res acquisition mode on this instrument by pressing the high-res front panel button. And we'll quickly see now that we've got 12 bits of acquisition vertical resolution. And you can see I, can, I, I see now the, the ringing on the trace. I can measure that frequency, the amplitude, and so forth. High resolution mode is key to making accurate and repeatable measurements. And the 12-bit analog to digital converters, along with this advanced signal processing like high-res acquisition mode of the 6-series MSO, provides up to 16 bits of vertical resolution, making visible fine signal details that you just can't see on many other oscilloscopes.